flowchart explanation. This setup is 10 TPH alluvial gold processing plant and 5 TPH rock gold processing plant. These two gold processings will not operate at the same time, so they can use the gravity separators in common, including gold centrifugal concentrator, sluice box, and shaking table. 1. The 10 TPH alluvial gold section is configured with a trommel scrubber, which is designed with a feeding hopper. The feeding hopper is with a grizzly bar of 75 mm. For removing the waste stones larger than 75 mm, the screen mesh size of the trommel scrubber is 5 m. Remarks? The trommel scrubber is made to be stationary, according to the request of the client, and it also can be designed with mobile wheels, which is easier to be moved from one place to another. 2. Because the gold size is smaller than 5 mm so we don't need to use the Corsus Luis box, then E5 mm small gold concentrate ore that will go to the centrifugal concentrator for primary concentration. 3. And 0.5 mm small gold concentrate or discharged from the centrifugal concentrator will go to the shaking table for final concentration again to get higher purity gold. 4. The sluice box is for recovering the tailings out of the centrifugal concentrator, so this equipment can increase recovery ratio and get as much gold as possible. The sluice box can be designed with different lengths and widths, like tombed for a form 6 meters length, mem width or 0.5 meter width. 5. The final gold concentrate can feed to the gold smelting furnace to make gold bars for sale, depending on the customer's needs. The capacity for this washing plant can be customized as per request, such as 10 TPH, 50 TPH, 100 TPH, 200 TPH, etc. The 5 TFIF rock gold section is configured with a hopper, under the hopper connected with one chute feeder, to feed materials into the jaw crusher more evenly. The raw stone ores should be less than 200 mm and be crushed and grinded between 0 nero tonzo 74 mm for releasing the gold inside. 1. The jaw crusher crushes the big stone between 20-80 mm and the output will be transported to the hammer crusher via a belt conveyor. 2. The hammer crusher crushes the materials to be smaller than 15 mm. 3. The materials smaller than 15 mm enter into the transfer bin and then via the electromagnetic vibrating feeder and belt conveyor will go to the ball mill to grind ore into powder size. The discharged ore of the ball mill goes to the spiral classifier for roughly size separation. The coarse particles will be back to the ball mill for further grinding. Remarks the ball mill plus classifier forms a closed circuit grinding system which can achieve more than 90% of the discharge to 200 mesh 0 074 meters 4 fine particles will be sent to the centrifugal concentrator for concentrating fine gold by a slurry pump 5 tailings of the centrifugal concentrator go to the sluice box for recovering more gold as much as possible 6. Concentrates of sluice box and centrifugal concentrator are sent to the shaking table for fine concentrating gold. The shaking table is a gravity equipment for recovering gold with a very high recovery rate. It is very friendly to the environment. This flowchart is very suitable for recovering fine powder gold in rocks. This plant also can be used for hard rock tin ore, coltan ore, tungsten ore, and chrome ore. The capacity for this processing plant can be customized as per request, such as 2TPI, 5T, 10T, 20T, etc.